Okay, so now I'm going to explain um, exactly what I've created here. But I first want to give you my inspiration. Um, I am falling in love with so many wonderfully talented uh, ladies and gents over here on Pinterest, especially for the Christmas decor. Um, you know, we all need inspiration or whatever. So I saw this right here. It is a reindeer that has a, a box for the, the um, pedestal. And then a wooden dowel, and then it looks like, yeah, of course, it's buffalo. Oh, it's another one of them um, links where it don't. If y'all know the original designer of this, uh, let me know, and I'll give them where credit's due. But the uploader is Peggy, uh, let's see, uh, Valhaber. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful idea, so I wanted to give y'all my take on it, and uh, so I'm going to explain what I've been doing. Okay, I wanted to show you the measurements for the base of each of these, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to cut four, four and a half by two inch strips, like this, four and a half by two inch strips. Then what you're going to do is you're going to measure in to one inch on each side. You're going to do your miter uh, drawing from here to here and from here to here. That gives you this square. And you're going to do four of those. Then what you're going to do next is to create the top here after you have glued the sides. You're going to cut, what is it, Daniel? Two, two and a half by two and a half. You're going to cut a two and a half by two and a half for the small square and the base square top or the bottom, the base. You are going to cut a four and a half by four and a half, which is your base. So four and a half by four and one half. After you glue everything together, as you will see in the video, um, I chose to paint it black, which I also used just black chipboard so it would help me. You know, you can choose whatever color chipboard you want. But I painted it all black, and then I um, cut this out with my silhouette, and I put it on there for both of them. So both of the bases to these are the same. The only thing that's different, of course, is the style of the reindeer and the height that they are. So I'll tell you the height. Now when I put, when I glued these and I put them in there, I put a piece of styrofoam as you will see and then so we're going to measure, I'm just basically going to measure from here to here. So the first stick is nine and a half on this one. This is the shorter one. And of course, this can all be altered to your um, liking or whatever. This is a full 12 inches. That's a full 12 inch. So, um, I wanted to uh, tell you the measurements and everything. And remember, all you have to do is once you do your measurements, you cut four of the mitered, four of those. You're going to cut one, two and a half, and two and a half, and then you're going to cut one at four and a half and four and a half base. So, if you have any questions, let me know. So, let's get to finishing the tutorial. I uh, mitered, I got my edge, you know, I measured one edge, and then I went and I cut uh, pieces out and just mitered the corners like that. And then, of course, you put them all together like this. And then I glued, this is a piece of just styrofoam. You want that, even though you have a solid base, you do want the styrofoam. Um, these are 12 inch wood dowels. And um, the two, I'm doing two. And I got these at Joann's yesterday. They are the MDF board cutouts. 
Um, they're on clear. They're on sale right now for like three dollars for the regular seven, and it's from the Place and Time collection. So I got a standing one, and then I got a running one. So I put the tops on, and what I did was is I found the center. I punched the hole, and you're gonna feed it right through down. There, this will also help stabilize the dowel as well. And you're just damn, I got in there too good, didn't I? Um, come on, pop up. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, you're gonna glue this down. And, uh, oh, another tip you see how you, you might have dried glue and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna clean that up? Get you an emery board, get you an emery board. And sit here and just lightly sand. And look at their smooth, no sticking out glue anywhere. And plus this will lend you for a beautiful finish once you get ready to paint it. And this is black chipboard. Um, I will put a link um, for the chipboard and all the crafting supplies I've used throughout my videos. I have an Amazon storefront and let me tell you, every little dollar means something to me because I made a dollar twenty-five yesterday and I was like, you know what? Hey, a dollar twenty-five more than I had. So um, but yeah, the links are affiliate links, and I will make a small commission. And uh, if you purchase the craft supplies through my Amazon storefront, of course, I know Amazon ain't gonna have everything, and that's that's fine. But if I can find a good deal or a good quality product for less, and you can get more for your money, um, yeah, and I like it, I will share it. You know, now you see how, and then right here, if you feel like it, like right here, it come apart just a little bit. And since then, I'm just going to glue from the inside so I have less glue cleanup. Like right there. And that's what you do.
Okay, so here they are. They're finished, and I cut out uh, some little sayings with my silhouette. And this is what they look like. They come out so cute. I can't wait to put these on my mantle and to show y'all exactly what they're going to be styled as. So, there you go. Awesome. Love it. And uh, stay tuned for some more.